confidence, attitude, potential to value add in the company. Candidates who can project enthusiasm. People who are actually looking for a platform to outperform themselves, experience, uh, things that they have done positively. Whether you have the competencies that they need, the uh, right personality uh, that will fit into the organisation. Potential for agility the future skills that we need within our organisation that may not be the same skills that we have today. Employers will make a judgement about whether they like you or not, don't say to you, but it's kind of subconscious. Because they're interested in the skills and tools, and capabilities of this person. Whether they have the capability to uh, handle conflicts, problems, uh, and how they're going to handle that. They want to assess not just your competencies, but also your calmness in terms of managing work-life challenges. Okay, so tell me about a time when you faced a challenging problem at work and what you did to resolve it. Mm, well, once, we were assigned to develop a system from scratch. I gathered my team and we started working on a post system. We worked on features like uh, automated costing, uh, barcode scanners, and we tried to link payment systems. It was challenging, but we managed to complete it within the timeline. What the candidate actually described is what, what she did, but I guess she didn't define the difficulty in the first place. What's so challenging about it? How did she actually do it? I didn't get that from her. It told the interviewer nothing about the journey and the skills that were deployed to overcome the problem. To prepare for that kind of question, have concrete examples available. I would then say, um, because of my limitation, we were unable to fulfil this, but however, we learn from it and bring everybody together. Just last year, we were tasked to develop a post system in just one month. The usual time frame for such a project is three months. Not only that, my team had only one experienced programmer and the other two were novices. I quickly set my team down, leveraging on their individual strengths I divided the workload and requested daily huddles to address any issues. I also rolled up my sleeves to do some of the programming. In the end, we managed to deliver the system on time. The client was pleasantly surprised to see the speed and quality of our work. And not just that, from that one project alone, we won three other projects due to the client's referral. Why should I hire you? Can you tell me your weakness? How candid is the response coming from the candidate? It actually says a lot of that person. Tell me about yourself. You want to bring out whatever you can to add value and uh, add points in terms of impression? What do you know about my company? If you're really interested in the job, you would have gone through your research, understand my company's competitors, uh, economic landscape, what business landscape we're working on. Try to go to the organisation and hang around outside. Try to observe what people are wearing. Uh, and that gives you a good sense of what is appropriate and what you know, fits into the organisation. Dress one level up. To come across as authentic and not come across as scripted. So I think that's the first thing, be yourself. Always reframe these questions as positives. Treat it like a one-to-one -one conversation. Uh, be relaxed. So don't be discouraged when you get rejected. Just tell yourself, maybe it's not the right employer for me. Go for the experience and then say, I'll wait for the best employer to come along. <laughs>